Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 30, 2021. If you like to support John, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And we have been going back and forward today. We did end the session a little bit higher, but nothing significant. It kind of looks like the momentum is running out at this current stage. And there are a few indications that we may be seeing a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or, or towards the 50 moving average before it going higher from here. We're approaching 4,300, 4, I was supposed to say, and we may see a pullback before going higher there. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is leveling off and crossing the signal line here, which is a bearish indication. We also also does the CCI that is also leveling off here, still in very bullish territory. And the RSI, RSI is flat at this current stage. So if we were to fall, then, 50, then the 20 exponential down here at 4,235 should offer support. So should the 50 down here at 4,200, give or take. And then we have the previous lows here. If this basically breaks, then we could drop all the way down to 4,000. Otherwise, uh, 4,400 should be long-term targeted. Pullbacks have been bought into at the 50 and the 20 exponential for, well, several months now. If we go all the way back the last year, basically. So if you look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did rally and gave all of those gains back. So this is not a really good sign for the Dow Jones. We have not broken below the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential. Both are at the same level at this point. But if we break below here, then we could see this drop towards first around 33,550. That's the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And if that gives away, then we could go back towards these previous lows here at 33,000. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is flat at this point. Stochastic is also flat and leveling off. CCI is flat and so is the uh, RSI. So not a good sign that we're pulling back. But we're still um, above the 50 moving average. And if we man manage to take out the previous highs here from yesterday, then we may go ahead towards the all-time highs here of roughly 35,000. So let's look at NASDAQ. So Nasdaq continues to rally and rally and rally. It looks like we are it is targeting 15,000 at this point, but there are warning signs. And um, at this point, it is getting very overstretched and it's also overbought at this point. However, technical indicators are very bullish for Nasdaq. And as long as that is the case, then we may go significantly higher. We are overbought. We are above 70 in the, RS, uh, in the RSI. And we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band, which should be and um, both warning signs that we could see pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band at roughly uh, 13,000, uh, 14,000, sorry. That should basically be where this market should find massive support. If that were to break, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 13,787. And then we have the very lows here down at the 13,000. That should be basically the bottom of the market. If uh, 200 moving average breaks, then we are looking at the massive decline in the nasdaq but we are in a very um, healthy uptrend but fairly overstretched at this point and a pullback very similar to this one could be expected at any point so let's look at the german dax so german dax has uh, rallied significantly up 1.2 percent at most and then gave some of those gains back at the end of the session uh, but uh, a very uh, healthy uh, rally today broke basically the highs of the uh, previous sessions here and went nearly to the all-time highs up here at uh, 15,800. Technical indicators for the NASDAQ, no, for the uh, German DAX, you can see that uh, MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. It kind of looks like we could be heading towards the 16,000 if we break below here. And then we have the 50 moving average probably at the bottom of this market as, at this point. Break below this candlestick here, then we could drop to 15,000 and much lower. So let's look at the UK 100 FTSE. So this tried to rally up towards 7,115. That's as far as it got and then gave all of those gains back. And that is not a really good sign for the FTSE. 
If we were to drop lower from here, then we have the 50 moving average, roughly at 7,000 as a support. And then we have the previous lows here at 6,954. If that breaks, then we could be looking at the 6,750. But at the moment, we're still in an uptrend. And every single time we have gotten close to the 50 moving average or broken below it significantly, we have rallied substantially to the upside. So at this point, uh, kind of look at the 50 moving average. Uh, if we bounce from here, then we could go heading back towards uh, 7,200. If we look at technical indicators, they are not favoring the upside at this point. MACD is bearish, and Stochastic is bearish, and CCI is bearish, and, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the, sorry, China 50. So, as I said yesterday, it this tends to rally at the end of the month and then break down. And that's kind of what we have been seeing here today, where we have uh, fallen nearly roughly 2% towards a massive support down here at the 200 moving average. We have occasionally broken below the 200 moving average. We can see it here, here, and also here, but we have since then rallied. But if we break below these candlestick here and also these candlesticks here, then we could see this dropping to 16,000, 15,000 and even lower than that. If we were to break above this candlestick here, then we could go back towards these previous highs of roughly 18,500. However, technical indicators are looking dreadful for the China 50. You can see the MACD is bearish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. CCI is completely turned around, and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.